Hey, I just want to do a little follow-up after my trip over to my wife's nephew's house to uh, take a look at their outlet. Get over there and there's no power to it, so we go downstairs and take a look at the breaker panel where all the 15 amp breakers are at. And, and there's a little bit of voltage on there, like about 40 volts, not the 120 like it's supposed to be. And uh, we turn off all the 15 amp breakers and still have a, a little bit of a residual voltage sitting there. So there's another breaker panel in the bedroom upstairs, all 30 amp breakers and above. So we didn't figure that'd be running the outlets. Well, we figured wrong. One of the 30 amp outlet, the, our 30 amp breakers, controlled both the outlets in the living room plus the lights in the kitchen. Uh, I'm not sure up on any code, but I don't think that meets any code to, to have a 30 amp breaker powering a 15 amp outlets. That's kind of a fire hazard because uh, now your outlet is going to be your your fuse or, or circuit protection, and, and not not the fuse itself, the circuit breaker. So I'm measuring the voltage on it, pull off the the neutral wires, and I'm I'm running about six volts between the neutral wires. There shouldn't be any between there; it should be all at the same potential. Uh, so then I take between one of the neutrals and the hot side, and one side. I'm running about two, three volts, you know, two, three volts with with it, uh, the breaker off. So we turn the breaker on, and now I'm running on from one neutral, 40 volts AC to the hot, and the other one's running 17 volts to the hot. So okay, there's a problem, and it all started when they had a power outage. They was out of power for about five days. When it come back on, now then they have this problem. So I says, okay, this as far as I can go. You're going to need to get an electrician to come in with equipment to track it down. Well, we get a call later that night and it says, oh, there's a switch on the wall that powers the outlet. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, we're tra trying to troubleshoot there. There's still a problem with the way it's wired, uh, but it's at least when they turn the, the switch on. The house was made in the 50s, and back then they didn't have a lot of lights on the ceiling. It was all lamps. And so it was kind of standard to have a light as you just come in the door that turns on an outlet so that you can turn on your lamp. Uh, well, they've been changed around now so they have all ceiling lights and fans and stuff like that. So um, that switch was still left in there to power that outlet. So the reason they didn't have any power is because the switch was off, but that still didn't uh, negate the problems we are seeing when the switch was off. There was still voltage on there. So you think you turn it off, and there's voltage you even turn the breaker off the power it and there was still some voltage there so there's there's a potential for a problem in there and to really solve it uh, you're gonna need an electrician to come in because they may have to do a lot of rewiring and the house is originally wired with just the, the two prong outlets that are hot and your neutral well they replaced them with the three prong ones that have your ground your neutral and your hot well the ground which is your safety ground is not hooked up to anything there's nothing there so that's another problem you think you have a safety ground because some devices are expected to have it so now then there's an electrical shock hazard but anyway they got their tv working back again the only problem is they're running uh, uh, on the two outlets they're running uh, circuit strips and, and uh, uh, you know extension cords to power stuff so they can easily be exceeding that 15 amp limit on each one of them and hopefully they, they don't because a lot of things are not running a lot of power. You got your lights, your fan, and TVs don't run much current anymore. You know, they're like about a little over an amp to an amp and a half for most of the big TVs, not like the old ones that would run, you know, easily five, six amps because all the tubes and everything in there. So anyway, I just want to kind of follow up on, on that. To make sure you, you follow and uh, subscribe and like uh video as, as you see fit. Uh, make any comments. Um, you can see I'm not driving. I'm a passenger this time, so I'm actually talking while we're, we're driving, kind of doing two things at once. Don't like to drive and try and video, especially when I have to handhold the, the cameras. As you can see, it kind of bouncing around. I try not to rest my elbow because it bounces around. But that's, Right now, we're coming to a stop because we're waiting for a train to go by. So, Until next time, thanks for watching.